Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing Le Chouf, uh, the dwarf from France. Not the dwarf, the gnome. Sorry, the gnome. You know, from France, Belgium. From Belgium. Even though it's got a French name. Well, remember, half the people in Belgium speak French, and the other half speaks a Dutch dialect. All right, so we used to get a lot of Le Chouf, and then it just disappeared. Because Belgian beer has disappeared. Everybody wanted to drink craft beer. Mm. This the is, fools. This is a Belgian craft beer. The fools. So there's a whole bunch of different Le Chiff, but we don't really get all those varieties. Yeah. I'm sure if you look around, you'll find some. I don't think this is the only one I saw. Ah, maybe that's true. I hope that's true. There should be some sediment at the bottom. Well, why don't you tell somebody something before all the beer comes out? Because that's, um, I think it's bottle conditioned. Full. Sorry, folks. There should be some sediment at the bottom and all the beer's out. Full. Could be some drama on this video, people. Smell like bubble gum. Ale brew with coriander. So they brew it with coriander. And uh, Brasserie de Chouf, Belgium. That's what it said. So the gnome was the 44. Because we drink it a 40. 40 years. Been around 40 years. And it's a 8% alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah, alcohol. Uh, oh, Duvel Mutgat. Oh, well, okay. Same people that they imported. I don't guess they own it. Um, this is 11.2 ounce. This is 8% alcohol. Yes, keep on talking. Um, you know, we're going to have background noise. And the website. We have to turn is, the fan on. The website is ashuf.be, Belgium. Okay, I told you there was no beer in it. I don't know why you, you like squeeze it like it's a lemon. Right. Get the drops out. All right, man. That's correct. Color is. I'm gonna squeeze that lemon. Yellow to like a French cream color. Sure, it's not like Belgian cream. <laughs> uh, I can't help that. That's a gift. All right. Um. White S foam smells creamy. Gold, yeah, orange gold. It's got that kind of cracker smell a little bit to it. It's been so long since I had this beer. Spicy. I've never had it. I just saw it. Just look at that fancy bottle and we can get it. <sighs> Everything you say is true in that coriander spice is really dominating. You didn't think it'd still be in my fridge, huh? Last time he was over, he's like, hey. Uh, no, I did not think hey, it. will try that. I said, leave it in here. We'll try it next time. He thought I was going to drink it. Yeah, actually, I did. Uh, so when I saw my, it. My name's not Jay. Okay, oh, oh, right, because that one time I made a little mistake and I thought I had Keystone Ice, but it was the um, 1050. 1050. I don't know how you make that mistake. Well, once I opened the can, it started pouring. black and the hell is not. Well, the Keystone <laughs> Ice can went to black, so uh, I just grabbed it and, and I started pouring my Keystone Ice, and I was like, Keystone was that, Ice? Was that, was that before, before or after Dawn Busters? I was like, Keystone Ice is not a black and, can. And whiskey challenges. No, it was just after work. Mm -hmm. I, I, when it, I said, I know Keystone Ice is not black. Okay, well, that was just a mistake. You know, we all make mistakes. Okay, it smells nice. Tastes good. You know, coriander and cilantro is the same product. Mm, that's where a little soapiness is coming from. Coriander is the seeds and the cilantro is the leaf. Uh, leaves. Thank, thank you for the information I already know. All right, well... I didn't know you did. I didn't. But Felipe's is right across the street from where you bought this, so you should know. You've probably been to Felipe's. I don't have another one of those somewhere. They tore down something relevant and they put them in Felipe's. Well, they have one in the French Quarter. I don't know why you'd want to go there. I wouldn't, but they have one there. Okay, um,. Medium body, um, spice, little lemon, 
Sweetness, same thing as the last beer, two out of five sugar cubes, not that sweet. Bitterness, one and a half out of five hop cones. This is not a bitter beer. Can't make statements like that. Suppose somebody didn't see the last video or the last beer. Well, previously posted video, because I typically you don't post, that. post them in order. Sometimes you don't post them at all. Oh, I have had times where I accidentally deleted videos. Um, on purpose. I have had time where I purposely deleted videos. Um, maybe it is a little sugar, more sugary than I had said. Maybe two and a half out of five sugar cubes, yeah. It's not bitter, but there's a spiciness. And I don't rate it on spicy units, but it's a spicy, bready. It's like a spiced white bread. It's similar to Duvel, but not as spicy as Duvel. But maybe it's better than Duvel. It comes with the same bottle. Same type bottle. Um, so what, what, what's a spicy white bread? Like sourdough? I really don't know. I just and, you, and how, how could you use that as, as a descriptive? Because I think I've been to people's houses like during Christmas time, and they you have think? like these little. You don't know if you were there. Yeah, and they had like except before or after you had Dawn Busters. Well, been after I well, and, I used and, and whiskey challenges. Well, the whiskey challenges is the Dawn Busters. You know. Jeez. It's more like the little toast. You know what I'm talking about? The little spicy toast, like the Melba toast type thing I'm thinking of, perhaps, than actual bread. Those aren't bread. even made anymore. Nobody makes Melba toast. I know where to buy it. Okay, um, It's not made by that company anymore. They stopped making it a long time ago. Melba toast is not made anymore. Well, let me tell you something. Let me set you straight. Um... Old London makes a brand of... Who the says, heck is Old London? And it says Melba Toast on it. So maybe the people you're thinking of in New Orleans, and I know who you're talking about, used to be in a little cellophane wrapper. Yeah, you get it at, at the restaurant. So you go to the restaurant, they serve it. Yeah, the it's so good with the butter on it, yeah. Maybe they lost the trademark because they didn't use the trademark. Fake news. Okay, how do you like this product? Fake how do you news. score this? Bells and okay. It's okay. It's well put together. It's got a bready yeastness going on with it. There's a little spice. I would like to try a non-spiced version. A clean version. You know, like just Le Chouf unplugged, you know, with no added spices. Okay. So, can I make a suggestion if you want to start having beers a little cleaner? Stop doing the swish and pour. And you won't get the gunk, especially from a bottle conditioned beer. You're not supposed to do that. You can talk to anybody that brews beer, and they say, don't do that because it's dead yeast and it's going to upset your stomach. And there's no flavor in dead yeast. Um, so maybe dead yeast flavor. But that, the unclean thing would just be them not adding the spices. And if they didn't add the spices, it might taste really bland. You know what I'm saying? It might just be like 8%, but not a lot of flavor. I'm curious. That's all. I'm just all curious. Right. So what's your what's your take on this? I like it, but I, I don't recall liking it. I don't think I like it as much as I did the first time I reviewed it years ago. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give it an A, but it's going to be the lowest A, a 93. Just getting into A. Uh, and these run about four fifty a bottle, so they're not like the A started at a ninety. A minus, yeah. Oh, well, I'm good. I'm gonna give it a B. Didn't it didn't blow my socks off. I'm just gonna give it a B. Eighty eight. Okay, so B plus B. Yeah, in my book, eighty seven B is the highest book. B. It's a B. All right, Michael Komarov, you're gonna have to my book. Not your book. Yeah, everybody goes by your rules. I know it's 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 a hard it's a hard thing to accept. Sometimes there's sometimes a buggy. A buggy? Yeah. And how many drivers does a buggy have? Um 
I like it, but I wouldn't pay $425, 454 but that's what you're going to pay. I mean, it's like... And it's only 11.2 ounces. That's, you know, so, yeah, it's most excellent, but then... I so paid, is a, I paid 395 Oh, wow. I got a deal. Well, in that case... Okay, but anyway, so, yeah, that's it. You're saying B, and I'm saying A, but nothing too awesome. I don't know if I'd pick it up again. It's, it's just... It's just uh, it's regular. Yeah. It's, it's just regular. It's... That's what I'm saying. I would really love to see what it, how regular it would really be without the coriander. That's that's the whole point I'm trying to make. Mm. Might really be regular. I'm not a fan of the coriander either. So no, I'm not either. I, if I never drank another beer with coriander, I wouldn't. That wouldn't bother me one bit. Bit. Okay. So les les bon temps Ota. And we're gonna end this review by saying y'all go to Belgium and tour the Le Chiffre Brewery. Drink better beers, kids. All right. I still can't believe.